sneaking in to a haunted museum overnight, probably not the best idea, but we're gonna give it a try. I cannot believe this. This is so crazy. Hey, oh. what are you doing here? I'm just Stress guys, they're literally getting ready to close any minute. This may be a bad idea, I don't know. But sneaking in to a haunted museum overnight, probably not the best idea, but we're gonna give it a try. Where are you from? Hell. Okay. I, got it. Right now. I think they walked out. Dude. Guys, like I literally went upstairs. Hello? I literally went upstairs and I was like hiding in this back room behind this trunk. They never came back upstairs. I heard them close the door. They're gone. They're literally gone and they locked the door. I can't believe this. Oh my God, guys. I am in a haunted museum and I'm trapped in here all alone. Dude, this is crazy. Guys, they have objects upstairs that will make you freak out. I mean, just crazy cursed objects and we're gonna go spend the night with these things all alone oh my god guys like they have a room in here where they sell stuff but all the crazy haunted stuff is upstairs and we're gonna go check it out right now i cannot believe this this is so crazy hey oh. what are you doing here we're closed what oh sorry I, i'm in the wrong place i'm sorry i gotta get out of here ah uh, just kidding guys that's brie right there Hi. and brie is our awesome tour guy for the night we are in gettysburg pennsylvania at the museum of haunted objects guys and we have brie who's gonna show us around this place and then she's gonna let us do an investigation here with all these creepy things big shout out to them i just thought it'd be a little uh, a little funny to uh, get you guys or prank you guys here, make you think I'm really like uh, I'm not that dumb. I'm not gonna like break and enter into a place, but uh, I thought it'd be funny. Anyways, big shout out to them for playing along. It was super funny. We got a good laugh out of it, and I hope you guys did too. Let's go up and see what type of crazy, cursed, haunted objects they got upstairs. All right, so let's be for real now, guys. We're gonna do a crazy investigation inside of a haunted museum. I've never experienced anything like this before. It should be super cool. Here with my friend Jen from Raptor Adventures. What's what up? up? Where, where's Lisa? <laughs> Lisa's at home. Lisa was too scared to come. Yeah, she was too scared, guys. Nah, Lisa, Lisa had a had a busy day and we figured we'd come check this out and I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to have you guys. Now guys, before we go in this room, this is our room of cursed and dark objects. So before we go in here, I want you guys to be fully aware that we have a lot of negative objects in here. They have a lot of negative entities. They have a lot of negative energy attached to them. So if you feel the need to step out, please do. Um, people tend to feel a lot in here, so just be careful. And you guys can follow me. Oh, I was doing this. So this is the spooky, spooky room, huh? Yeah, this is our room of cursed and dark objects. Dude, this is awesome. What, what, what do you have in there? So in here we've got um, a little closet, there's plexiglass, and then we have a little friend, a little doll in there that is behind bulletproof glass. Um, she's covered by a tarp. We typically have people look at her for about five, ten seconds. And oh, if wow. she likes you or doesn't like you, she'll start to morph her body into yours. And really? Then, yeah. I've actually seen something like that before. Really? So what do you pull the string and then she appears? Yeah, so if you Ooh. pull this string, you'll just see it lift up. I'm not gonna do it all the way. Okay. That's up to you. I'll yeah, do that. maybe we'll do that in a little <laughs> while. That's that's a good idea because yeah. we are gonna do an explorer. Cool. Oh, and there's another doll right there. Mm-hmm. We have, actually have nine dolls in this museum. Okay. Um, so that case over there has a lot of different dolls in it. A lot of different stories. This blonde one, that little one, and the big one, all of them came from an exorcism that occurred in Scotland by the Vatican City. Really? Um, by the Vatican? By the Vatican <gasps> in Scotland. Um, tip, these were actually taken out of an exorcism, like I mentioned, but oh that one is the one that we believe that whatever was exercised out of that person, um, the spirit went into that specific doll down there. Because she does like to move around. A lot of people will see her move around on her tours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, we're going to keep an eye on that one for mm -hmm. sure, because mm -hmm. that one kind of gets me. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's definitely dark. Yeah. Over here, we have a mirror from the Smurl House, which was an Ed and Lorraine Warren case. This is still an open portal mirror today, but it is ritually bound, so nothing can actually come out of it. Wait, where's the mirror? It's in the 
Um, oh, it's covered. Yeah. yeah oh, it's okay. Covered up. Okay, I don't believe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. But if it wasn't covered, it would still be an open portal mirror, and we don't want that. Right. right. No kidding. And then we've got this over here, this camera that predicts death. Um, this camera basically took multiple pictures of multiple people, and a few of them came out warped and then wound up. Uh, those people who got their picture taken wound up passing away afterwards. Oh, man. Wow. Which is just so I don't nobody has access to this building plus these are locked all of these cases so uh, um, nobody is able to open that except for our owner mm, that is spooky this yeah. saw is, has a pretty interesting story too do you want to tell them about this saw? Oh, saw? Yeah. oh I didn't even notice that yeah yeah so this uh, cursed farm saw is responsible for a lot of different deaths a lot of different um, lost limbs mm. it is actually completely covered in blood um, and our owner got it after two men tried to use it and wound up dying from it. It was put away into a shed and then someone else, an unlucky person, pulled it out and wound up losing a limb. Oh, and eventually gosh. it was given to us. We do have some numbers that have appeared on it, like a five right there. We have a one over there. And those appeared after we got it. Really? What? Yeah. You can see them clear as day. Those yeah, I see too. the one there That's for sure. Wild. Well, I'm gonna stay far away from that because I wouldn't doubt the thing falling off the wall and oh, trying yeah. to get me. Uh, I always tell people be careful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. no kidding. This is uh, the first ever patented, well, one of the first ever patented cooling, embalming, and amputation boards. It's a mobile one. Oh wow! So it unfolds like a folding table. It's got wheels, and all of these holes were for draining blood. We believe that this was used in the Battle of Little Bighorn. Um, and we do get a lot of activity around that board as well. A lot of people tend to feel very anxious, very sad, and I've had people come in here and cry as soon as they stand near this board. Wow. So it emits a lot of energy, a lot of emotions from mm. it. Usually our finale room. This is um, Miss Rosie. Miss Rosie's room? This is Rosie's room. Oh, wow. The unofficial name for it. <laughs> What's the story behind this? Um, so this is Rosie. Okay. She is a memorial doll and she's made with human hair and human teeth. Um, and sometimes they would take the ashes of that child's body and mix it in with paint and use it to paint the skin of the doll. Uh, but Rosie doesn't have that. We actually got her from an estate sale and um, she is one of our most active spirits. We believe she's between the ages of five and six. Her doll is very, very old, mm. roughly over a hundred years old. Um, and like I said, she's one of our most active spirits, so she does like to run around. She likes to touch people. Um, her favorite thing is legs. She likes to grab on people's legs, poke people's legs. Mm. Um, she will try to untie your shoelaces, pull money out of your pockets, things like that. She's a little bit of a prankster. Jack and Jenny, who we do get some activity from in this house because this was Jenny Wade's birth house. Mm. Um, and since Jenny Wade and Jack Skelly were best friends, um, childhood best friends, he spent a lot of time here as well. So they mm. both come here occasionally and hang out with us. Very cool. Yeah. And uh, we just have a few other trinkets in here. We have um, a bottle from a cursed pirate ship in the Caribbean Ocean. Wow. We have trinkets from a Viking burial ground in Russia. Um, we've got a vintage morning gown from the Victorian era. And a lot of cool things like that in here. I got the duck yeah, in watch here. Your head. I got to keep yeah. on the duck. Oh, Careful. Ooh, what do we got here? This is our GPA room. Different kind of feeling in here. Mm-hmm. Very different. So what can you tell us about this room? Well, this room is our Gettysburg Paranormal Association, or GPA room. Every single thing in this room was found to be haunted by one of our own lead investigators at GPA. Um, now, we do have a lot of different objects in here, um, all of which did come from either a place in Gettysburg, or we got it and then put it into a place in Gettysburg. We have um, this picture up here that actually inspired our logo of GPA. It was a picture of um, a ghost, a spirit, whatever you want to call it, uh, that was taken out on the Sachs Covered Bridge. That entire oh, picture yeah. right there is a face, so you can see that very clearly. Oh, wow. Huh. That's cool. We've got two antiques right here and right here. Both of these, um, this lovely lady on the wall and this trunk right here are both antiques that we got for the widow's cottage. Now in this one, we do get a lot of activity with it. We get EMF readings, EVP recordings. Mm. We uh, have a lot of people feel the inside of the trunk is colder when um, it's around 90 to 100 years old. Mm. It is made out of solid oak leather and tin. 
none of which can magnetize, so you shouldn't get any EMF readings or anything. And it also should be trapping some heat in there, which it doesn't. So it's a little bit odd that it is colder in there. Uh, we do believe we have some type of childlike spirit, childlike um, activity that comes from this trunk, whether it's residual or natural spirit, we don't know. Yes. We've got this lady on the wall right here. Now, uh, she's very well known for shifting her eyes around, smiling and frowning at people. And the big thing is that if you stand too close to her and she doesn't like you, you might start to hear, hear rattling and she might throw herself off the wall at you. Oh, that is spooky. Yeah, you can actually see all of the dings and stuff from her throwing herself off the wall. So wow. It it's has, actually a little tilted too, kind yeah. of, very slightly, but... It has happened on my tour oh, wow. before where she has started to aggressively shake when someone was standing next to her. Oh, wow. As soon as he stepped away, she stopped shaking. He got closer, she started again, he stepped out, and she uh, stopped again. So I guess she just didn't like him. But sometimes you will see her smile, which is not, you know, something That's that she should crazy. be doing in that picture since this is a fresh picture of her after her husband passed away. Wow. So Jenny Wade was born in, in this in this house yes. and obviously you guys brought a lot of mm -hmm. haunted objects here. So of that's going to make a place haunted. Now, do you think before the objects were even placed here, do you think there's any type of haunted history um, for this actual place that you know of or ever heard of? Or um, Well, what I can say is that the room we are standing in right now is actually Jenny Wade's bedroom till the age of 12 that she shared with her siblings. Mm -hmm. So um, she does have a lot of good memories because she died when she was 20. Mm -hmm. So this is where she had most of her life, most of her good memories, her good childhood and things like that. So uh, we do get some activity with her in this room. We also get a lot of activity with Jack who likes to stand out in the hallway right there because they weren't married. So mm -hmm. if he wasn't allowed into her bedroom in life, he won't come in here in death either. Mm -hmm. People get a lot of activity. Interesting. Especially men, but also sometimes women. If you stand in that doorway or stand in that hallway, you might get some activity if uh, Jenny's hanging out mm -hmm. here. So since she is here now, I would believe that she was probably here before. She comes and goes as she pleases, but we do sometimes get a lot of activity. I wonder what she thinks about all the haunted objects being in here. Have you ever done a... Um, I mean, there's different names for it. Uh, sound deprivation, uh, like SD method. method. Yes. Yeah, you've done that. Um, I have never been here for one. Mm -hmm. Done them in some of our other locations. Yeah. Um, we but... should. We should. We should maybe try that. I've never done one. You've never done it. No, I'm down though. Yeah, sure. it's it's pretty intense. So we get a lot of good activity anyway, um, especially sure. over Spirit Box. Okay. So I think doing an SS method would be great in here. So we could try that. Cool. Yeah, I would definitely recommend Sweet. it. Sweet. Cool. Especially in this room and in um, Rosie's room right next door. Yeah, for sure. Because we talk a lot to Jack, Jenny, and Rosie. Those are our big main three spirits um, that like to hang around, roam around in here. So uh, you might get probably the most activity with them. Now these boards over here mm -hmm. are actually amputation. Well, this big one is an amputation <clears throat> board from the Monfort Farm. So it is completely covered in blood from real soldiers oh, who have it. gotten amputated and possibly passed away on this board. At the bottom, you can see a lot of saw marks because that's where we believe their legs might have been and their head might have been mm. up there. Hence why there is no saw marks up there and there's a ton down there. Um, and then next to it, we have a little board that says hi, which is a coincidence, not coincidence, whatever you want to believe, <laughs> but it does actually say hi on it. It does. I just noticed it. Yeah. yeah. That's another board from the Monfort farm. That was actually part of a window because what they would do is after they are done cutting off your arm or your leg or whatever, they are going to take it to the nearest window and throw it outside into that big pile of limbs. And then the soldiers would come by, grab it, drag it away and uh, throw it into a burial pits. Wow. We get a new fun story every single day Do about you? crazy reactions because pretty much every single day we get a lot of, you know, people with a lot of different sensibilities and how sensitive they are to spirits and then sometimes people who aren't even sensitive turn into non-skeptics here. <laughs> we have had multiple people faint on our tours, especially over in the dark room. We actually had a man walk into the dark room and get an aggressive nosebleed, came out of the building and was asking, um us for paper towels because one of the workers was out there mm. and so he told us he'd never gotten a nosebleed before we've had people run out of here screaming we had a 16 year old man run out of here crying after he um got a little too not friendly with our lady on the wall mm. uh, like i said as long as you respect her she'll respect you and he was not very respectful so he i respect was, you yes very <laughs> respectful to her yeah 
Uh, but yeah, we have people come out of here, they will pray. They, we've had people get really strong reactions, not necessarily from being afraid or from experiencing stuff. People will just start to cry, especially in this room and our dark room. People mm. will cry. People will get very nervous, very jittery. People get touched a lot, not in a negative way. They'll just feel like somebody touched their legs or feel somebody hold their hand or things like that. Um, so people do tend to experience a lot pretty much every single tour. Wow. All right, guys, we're in the cursed objects, cursed and haunted object room. I'm gonna stay in here alone for a few minutes. Whoa, Jesus, freaking air conditioned. I'm already on edge. Like with all these different haunted objects in here, guys, you never know what can happen. Like, this is so creepy. I like imagine all the limbs and stuff that were cut off of this. All right, I'm gonna leave that there, guys. And yeah, we'll see if that goes off, maybe. Or keep an eye on that light. But this is creepy. Now, we were thinking about doing a sound deprivation, AKA Estes method on the actual um, spirit box. If you don't know about that, it's pretty crazy. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, it's honestly something that freaks me out and I don't really do it anymore. Um, considering we're around all these crazy objects, and the fact that Jenny Wade, you know, she was born in this house and apparently this was a house that she had really good memories. And it's right down the street from the actual Jenny Wade house that a lot of you guys have probably heard about. I'm curious if she'll come through and say anything uh, on the spirit box. And we're gonna find out here shortly. But this is absolutely crazy, guys. I'm really curious to see this thing uh, I want to pull that and see what actually happens. I'm going to do that here in a minute. And I guess there's a mirror here that they cover up that was owned by Ed and Shirley or Lorraine. And yeah, look at that. It's right in there, guys. That is crazy. Hmm. Like, they really don't want anyone to see through this. Now, here's a crazy story. They used to have a mirror here. And this is insane. There was a mirror that they had in here that was owned by Ed and, Ed and Shirley Lorraine. And they say that if, if they actually covered the mirror up, but they said, look into this mirror, it ages you by many, many years. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm down to do it. I'm down to look. Probably not the smartest thing. Luckily it's not here. So I'm not gonna be tempted to do that. So probably a good thing. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Are they in this room? They're not even over in this room, are they? Uh, no way. <gasps> Dude. So they just tapped on the glass. Holy crap. Did that doll move? I don't know. I don't remember what the doll looked like before, but I just heard something tap on the damn glass over here. Holy crap. Dude, there's something going on here. Is it K2 meter? I'm gonna hold on to that for a minute because, dude, that was, that was crazy. What in the world? I know what you guys are waiting for. You're ready to see this doll. Me too. I guess we'll take a quick look at it. And I'm gonna hold this out just in case it goes off. Oh my gosh. is pretty spooky. We're gonna cover that puppy back up. Cursed Indonesia doll. I wanna do that. It scared me. Oh man. There's like so many cool little creepy haunted objects here. You just don't know what what is what. whispering at me before like that was pretty pretty intense I wasn't expecting that could 
to imagine. If there's any spirits here, can you make that planchet move right now? Can you move it? All right, guys, so we're going to do a sound deprivation, a.k.a. Estes method. Um, I think a good spot for me to be, I'll be the one with the headphones first. I'm going to sit right here in front of this mirror with the haunted doll right behind me. Um, and then you guys can hang out over here. So once what I'm going to do basically is anything that I hear that I can make out, uh, I'm going to say it out loud. Um, now, there's a lot that I'm going to miss, but I'm just going to, whatever I can understand, whatever I can hear, I'll say it out loud. You guys can take turns asking questions based on anything that you want, based on things that I say, based on whatever, and see if any of it lines up. Oh. Just, um, you know, don't say it really loud. Just, you know, whisper. I have noise canceling headphones, so we're good. Um, but just don't scream it, you know what I mean? But right. you can talk in normal voice. I won't be able to hear you. And we'll see if any of it matches up. All right, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to close my eyes so you guys can go over there. Okay. And I guess we can put the light like right here so we have the light. Just go like that when the six minutes is up starting okay. now. Yeah. Yep. All right, so I guess we should ask the question. Why don't you go first? Do you want to ask anything? All right. Um, is there anybody here that would like to speak to us? You. Is there somebody Michelle. touching my head right now? Chef? I feel somebody touching my head. I got you. <gasps> Where you way? Somebody did have me. What is your name? Can you talk one at a time, please? Yep. Can you tell me your name? Say what? Leave. Do you want all of us to leave? Or do you want one of us to leave? The more you leave, talk, only you, Louis. Talking to Heather. Are you talking? What? Where? Over there. A dog. What is that? The cookie. That's weird. What the heck? That's upstairs. And it's a hair. <laughs> See, I told you. Leave now. We were gonna be a cricket upstairs, Heather. Yeah, we've I've never seen a bug up here before. A little cricket that would have to go Hidden. all the way up the stairs to get up here. It's going to the lake, that's weird. Was it hiding? I hid it. You hid it? Did you bring it upstairs and no hide one. it? Nose. Nose? It's there. Are you the cricket? No. You will. Say, did you say regret? Regret it. Regret it. What are we going to regret? Sing. Um, sing. Sing for me. Sing. We do get Jenny come over to the spirit box a lot singing. Really? Yeah. What's her favorite this? song? She just kind of does like a hymn, so she just like sing oh, something cool. random. But she will sing like if you ask her to sing for you. Well, Rosie, Rosie is actually the only one of her spirits that comes in here that is not part of this room. Really? Yeah. She is very um, brave, so she will come in here all the time. She'll talk to her people. Daughter? Her daughter? Something touching me because I'm close to this board. Hello. Huh? Back away from that cricket. Hello. Sorry, we were not talking to you. Do you want to come and 
Say hi to this cricket on the ground. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. You do. I do. Is his name Jiminy? Does he sing? Beg? He begs. She's here. Maybe Rosie. Is Rosie here? Or Jenny? Does Jenny come in this room or not? Not really. She doesn't like this room. She's beat. What do you got? Is Rosie in here? Other room? Rosie's in the other room. Oh, wow, that's oh. crazy responses. Yeah, Rosie's uh, doll is in the other room. How many people are in here? Her song? Sounds tonight? Is that a thing? Don't like crickets. Sing if they make music, right? You're right. They chirp. Yeah. And they keep talking about music. And just songs. sing like a ring around a rosy. <gasps> ring around a rosy. She actually does that a lot. That's we so have nice. a lot of people that have. Um, That's it. They'll try to sing with her and they'll like feel somebody holding their hands and stuff. It's me. So, yeah. Or you'll get a lot of crazy activity. It's one of her favorite songs. That is crazy. We've actually had little kids come in here and start to play it by themselves. Oh, she just went ring around it. Oh, what Rosie is hair. here. Damn maybe, straight. <laughs> maybe she was the one touching me. Does she, she touch people's heads? She likes to touch people the most out of all of our spirits. She okay. pretty much only goes... She's the only spirit we, besides the ones in here that will come into this room. Why don't you... Six minutes, James. Six minutes. He said bang on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Say yeah. You started talking about songs and a cricket showed up upstairs. There's a cricket. Really? Over really? there. He's over here by the light. Oh, weird. Isn't that weird? I've never seen one. And here. I know she was singing. It started singing a song like. Yeah, it was tell him the story. Too. Listen to this. So, Rosie is actually the only one of our spirits that is not um, a part of this room. Rosie. He's okay. right here. Yeah. She's the only one of uh, our spirits that is not a part of this room that will come in here. And she oh, does Yeah. She does like to touch people and she does like to um sing Ring Around the Rosie a lot. And if really? You, yeah, and if you sing it with her, sometimes you'll feel like somebody holds your hands. Um, like they want to play and your devices will start to go off. And we've had a few wow. kids come in here and they have started to play Ring Around the Rosie by themselves before. That's insane. So we think that's one really? of the songs. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah. Something was touching me over here, too. crazy. That's weird. There's a cricket there, too. And, like, uh, upstairs, too. Upstairs. So oh, we have to wow. come all the way, like, up the stairs to get up here. That's so weird. Wow. Which is weird. And you started singing about, you started talking about how there's music and songs and stuff. Uh-huh. And crickets make music. That's yeah, like, I wonder what crickets oh, wow. represent. They probably represent. See, it's music. crazy, because yeah. when I'll go back and watch this later, because I don't know what you guys were saying... And, like, when I go back and watch later, like, I don't know what made sense, if anything made sense, it some did. of it made sense, yeah. It made sense. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, we asked wow. if Rosie was here, and you said, in the other room. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is, she's in the other room over there. Oh, that's, oh, wow. Yeah. What the heck? Dude, that is so cool. You look at it, no, where did it come from? I'm sorry that you guys didn't yell and scream or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, damn, Cricket if jumped from behind you. I would have been screaming. The cr cr Jimmy Cricket's okay, though, huh? Yeah, yeah, as soon as I saw it, I started thinking about how I was just going to kill it. But then you said something that was like, oh, I don't remember weird. exactly okay. what you said, but you said like, don't or like something like that. So that I didn't kill it. Listen to this. It says, this spirit animal, the cricket, helps you connect to the divine, heightening your senses and teaching you to believe your instincts and spiritual guidance. Oh, wow. That's so weird. That's weird that that popped out right, right there. I've there. never seen that. She's gonna rescue the cricket and go let it free outside. You ready to get on out of here? Gettysburg Ghost Tours. Oh yeah, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Oh nice, I got one of these the other day. Got my very own Thank you so much, Bree, I appreciate it. That was so much fun. And you know what, this was Bree's first time she's ever actually done a ghost hunt. She did a really good job. Comment below what you think. Big shout out to Bree and big shout out to the Museum of Haunted Objects here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Highly suggest you come check it out. What a cool, 
creepy house too, guys. But we're on out of here. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys on the next haunted video. Love you guys. Till next time. Peace. Yeah. Let's get on out. Oh, God. Let's get on down. Get on down. <laughs>